today we'll be covering about automation what automation is you know what what all things should be automated what all things should not be automated what is the effort required to automate things you know and all those things so let's continue guys about automation basics so automation first of all when we talk about automation what do you understand by automation okay question says it will uh, you know it will help to reduce the manual effort okay good what about others so do you think that wherever there is a manual effort we will do the we will automate it so reduce repeated task to rerun the test multiple times in case of any bug fixes ravi says it's majorly for you know regression cases okay good to know about it it save time absolutely it will save time okay yeah absolutely somewhere or the other you guys are correct on this part it will reduce the manual effort but it will it depends on us that what manual effort do we want to save do we want to you know it may be possible when you are automating things you are spending more time than you would have spent on manual task correct so if you are spending more time on automation and less time on manual and in future you are not going to run the automation then it will be a waste of effort as well as time so it depends what we are automating so we'll be discussing these things that what we how we will decide what things we need to automate uh ravi says for any new feature to develop and test in a very short time it could help uh, ravi with this i i would say that i somewhere you know have different opinion on this case and we will see at the end of this uh, this you know automation basics concept we will see how it is bit different why this opinion is bit different so i'll come with that okay so it will reduce the repetitive task of course so it reduces a lot so if you are doing something again and again then automation is a very good you know it's very good because you will save time that's the best part you know when you go and discuss about the automation with any automation team where you are working currently or if you go and explore forums or anywhere okay anywhere you will find that 90% of the companies automate only regression pack and sanity pack so 90% of the companies you will find they are automating only these two packs and that's it okay now we will be discussing how we decide you know um, when we should start automation and all those things in a while so let's continue it says software test automation refers to the activities and efforts that automate manual task and operations in a software test process using well defined strategies and systematic solutions test script text execution test automation so they are showing us that this is a test script what you are going to create then it will get executed and that's what we call it as test okay. so as we are uh, we are beginning it we are beginning this uh, automation basics so let me tell you what we are going to cover in this enable effective implementation of devops so i would say if you are not aware of devops you do not need to concentrate on that because today devops is a completely different i would say a team every company has a devops team today it seems like every big company has a devops team and uh, i have also seen people from testing background are moving to the devops as well but again here uh, devops has a completely different course uh, and it includes multiple tools and multiple things multiple technology automation tools it includes build tools and multiple other things so we should not go inside devops as of now but yes selenium is one component of devops you know like in automation we have multiple tools in devops also there are multiple tools multiple different tools and one of them is selenium so if in case in future you are planning to move to devops of course selenium will gonna help you out in that it will be an added advantage for you 
to have a knowledge of Selenium. Get faster feedback to rectify if any program module is broken. So this is what we'll be going to see, how it will give us the faster feedback. Improve test coverage across platforms, browsers and devices. We will see that, that how automation can help us to improve these things and to reduce the cost of quality. How we can say this statement. So we will be seeing all these things in the automation basics. Fundamentals of test automation. Okay. So uh, here we are saying what are the fundamentals of automation. Here also we are covering DevOps, continuous releases and deployment. So of course you must be aware that uh, today every company is following agile methodology where there is a frequent releases and deployments. There is a continuous monitoring as well, which is a part of DevOps again. Continuous integration and testing. This is also one component where, you know, as soon as developer makes a change, we always prefer to do the testing of that particular change so that it don't or it does not break in production environment. So this is what we take care of. Collaborative development. So multiple people are doing the development for automation framework. Suppose your project is so big that, uh, you know, it will take time and your team has three automation developers. So all three of them are working together to develop the test cases. Continuous business planning. So of course in Agile, there is continuous business planning in every, you know, bi-weekly or every uh, week, every month, they can come up with the new things new changes and uh, there will be continuous change in the requirements and that's where you know automation will gonna help you out and that's the reason automation has got so much you know demanding has got so much demanding today in the market because of this reason because of I would say agile is the one which brings automation you know in the market a lot because you must have heard that in 2004, uh, this Selenium has come into the market, but it was not that popular at that point of time. Correct. But, you know, people have started following Agile, have started thinking of moving to automation, and today every company is following automation. So that's what it says, test automation is the only way to achieve agility. So manual test case gets automated, automated test cases gets executed and then you get the result so they are talking about from a framework point of view that there will be a framework there will be a test environment there will be test data automation tool and all that stuff <clears throat> so this is just to give you a this is just uh, you know giving you a background so where test automation can help you out test automation is can help you out in order to achieve Agile methodology completely in your team because again the same point is that there will be frequent releases so you might have to run your regression pack sanity pack a lot of time so that's the reason this is one of the fundamental of test automation to do Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.